Barry, my accountant, called me the other day and said, Hey Chandu, can I get a copy of all your credit card statement for the last year? I don't want to manually go into 12 PDFs and you know, copy paste the data. I would rather use one Excel table. Of course, I replied saying, yes, sure. And I quickly opened up Power Query, combined all my PDF files into one single Excel table, removed any unnecessary information and sent that data to Barry before I finished my morning coffee. Let us go through the process so you too can do it easily. So here is how my typical credit card statement looked like. It has some header details and a transaction details table that goes into multiple pages depending on how many transactions happened in a month. Now let's see how to get a single credit card statement into Excel first and then see how we can get an entire list of statements into one single table. So we go home and then data. From here, get data from file from PDF. Now this option is available in Office 365, uh, but if you are using a version of Excel where you don't see from PDF option, what you can do is you can alternatively open the free Power BI desktop software and follow the exact steps I'm showing in the Power BI get data button that does have PDF option and it works for all um, pretty much all versions of Power BI and select your credit card statement. Power Query will show you a preview of the data, what it found in the PDF. So you can, it will show any systematic tables that it has identified. So here is one state table, that's the table number two, table number three, and it has identified a composite table that spanned three pages, so table four. This is exactly what I want. So I'll click, click that and I'll simply say load and ta-da! my credit card statement is in Excel as a table. Now it almost works. I see that in the original statement, there were five columns, whereas here there are six columns. So let's just quickly eyeball and see what's going on. I could see that here it has somehow split this data into two columns. So let's go and fix that, right click, edit the query. And from here, let's just see what happened. So it went to the very first thing navigate it to the page and at this point somehow column 4 and column 5 got split. Now we don't really know how Power Query identifies the table columns within um, within the PDF but what we could do is at the end of this process I can take table these two columns and I can just transform and merge them. So I'll just say merge columns and that'll pretty much just create a new column we'll name this as transaction detail and our new column is there it calls it transaction detail one because there was a column like that and once this is done we'll just go home close and load and our credit card statement is there if you don't want to show any columns for example the card number or the date of processing you can exclude them as well you can go back to the query editor and from here you can just select the columns that you don't want remove those columns you can also name this table for example cc for credit card and that will be the table name when it gets loaded into excel so that is step one now let's go and see how you can get an entire folder of credit card statements, consolidate all of them into a single table. So here is my three credit card statements that we will be reconciling. They are three months, uh, but exactly same pattern. Some of them have 100 transactions, some of them have 80 or 70. Go to data, get data from file, from folder. Specify the folder path. And Power Query says it found three files there of PDF and what do you want to do? Now we can go ahead and combine. So we'll just say combine and just let's go with combine and transform data so that we can fix any problems in the data. So it will show you a sample of one of the files and says what do you want in this file? So we'll say I want the table four. 
Now what will happen is Power Query will open the every file in that folder. It will look for the table four and then it will load that. So we'll click OK. This will create this final table. It's called multiple and then it has the file name, card, date of transaction, date of processing, transaction detail, this extra column that is happening every now and then, and then finally the amount column. Now what we will do is we can go and fix some of the problems. For example, we don't need some of these columns. So I'm just going to select source name, card, date processed, and right click, remove those columns. Likewise, I'll select transaction detail and the column five. I'm going to just merge them into simply a new column called detail. And now all of the transactions and their details and the amounts are all listed by the date they happened and recorded. So this is all good. If you would like to exclude any specific transactions by a store or a date or a amount, you can specify those filter conditions. And once you're happy, click on close and load and Excel will show you all the statement details. As I mentioned earlier, if you do not have the PDF option, what you can do is you can repeat these exact steps in Power BI Desktop. Once the data is within Power Query, you can copy the data there. You can open a blank Excel file and paste it there and it'll get it to you. So that is all for now. If you have any specific questions on the combining PDF option or merging data through this route, please post a comment so that I can help you out. If you want to learn more about Power Query, check out the video that is linked on the screen. And if you want some quick wins to clean your data, check out my 10 ways to clean data easily in Excel video. See you again in another video. Bye-bye.